<laughs> this hands down has been the most fantastic sale I think we've ever had. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So far. So far. <laughs> so it's just we're only a couple hours into it, but yeah. we've been able to just set the sails and leave it. The sea state has been fantastic. Our wind is staying at about 8 to 14. 15 knots. Yeah. And we are at a constant 5 to 6 knots of speed. Yeah, it's just been it's, so comfy. We're like, what the, do we do? <laughs> that's kind of the speed that we've kind of planned the day around because mm -hmm. it's an overnight sail. So we'll yeah. ride there in the morning and yeah. it's been really comfortable. It has been. It's just I mean, been. It's just been music so and nice. fishing and. Yeah, it's chill. Only it's caught a barracuda. <laughs> and then look at this. Oh. This is looking so pretty back here. They're so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous sunset. And it's it's cold though. It is cold. Like, for us. <laughs> we had to zip up the enclosure. I put a shirt and on. Put, uh, t shirts on. I don't think we've worn t shirts in I can't tell you how long. Since but it's chilly. Yeah. <laughs> it's very chilly. So yeah. we are now bundled up in our nice little enclosure, zipping up the side. We already got that side zipped up. I have to do my side still. And then we're going to be all toasty and fantastic for the night. So we'll watch a movie and have some spaghetti or something. Oh, this sounds like a really good dinner. Holy, look at that. Oh, wow. Check this out is getting the sun. crazy. We made it! <laughs> I don't know how, but we made it. <laughs> Just got up from a two hour nap and Tamara's gone back down. We've got just a, it's rolly, but it's a really, really nice sail tonight. Um, try and see if I can get a shot of it, but it's uh, almost full moon. It was a full moon a couple nights ago, so we got visibility is amazing. It's pretty cool seeing all the other ships around. There's lots of cruise ships cruising through the night, and uh, there's another sailboat that's quite close to us actually closer than I prefer. He's about half, half a nautical mile from us. I can, I can see all of his lights perfectly, so I prefer if he was a little further away, but uh, um, if he gets any closer, I'm probably going to radio the guy, but he seems to be just sort of mirroring our, uh, our course. 
and uh, we tend to be going about a half a knot quicker. I don't know how he's still hanging there, but it's uh, it's been a really nice night so far. Let's hope this continues through, and tomorrow morning we will be in St. Martin. The sun's about to rise. It was such a beautiful sail last night. We got here a lot quicker than expected, that's for sure. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with that either. Kidding. On our way from USVI to St. Martin, it was such a perfect night. Nobody gets it this good. No. This never happens. I won't complain. No, we won't complain. Wow. We both got a little bit of sleep. We're definitely going to get some sleep when we get anchor down. Not anchor drinks this morning. No, that's not happening. Or maybe. We'll that's see. That's not happening. Might have to have a couple mimosas and then some sleepy time. I think I'll go straight to sleep. <laughs> okay, so he was right. There are anchor down drinks. <laughs> coffee. It's just strong coffee. It's just coffee. <laughs> we are uh, about 30 minutes from dropping the anchor, so we're going to enjoy some coffee before we do that. And. Uh, Start our day. Start our day. And that has to be the best overnight sail we've ever had. We averaged just over five knots in about eight to 11, 12 knots of wind. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody gets this wind direction coming from the USVI to St. Martin ever. No. So, it we, almost makes us want to continue further going south. Totally, yeah. But um, we have stuff to do in St. Martin, unfortunately. Yeah, so we, we'll be here for. We're going to do laundry. You can join us on that trip. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do laundry. <laughs> this week on Honey Time. <laughs> but, but no, we do have a few things to get done here, and then we're looking for the next good window in the next couple days to carry on south. Yes. Okay, so we're doing some planning right now. We need to book it down back to Grenada, but we want to enjoy the ride down. We just got up here. But we have a front that's coming in um, in a week, in exactly a week. So we are going to leave from here, which is Marigo Bay in um, St. Martin. We're going to get into Guadeloupe Monday morning, and then we kind of have to rush it because come Friday, we need to be down. We need to go from Guadeloupe through Dominica and park our butts in Martinique because come Friday it gets real ugly and it stays that way for the foreseeable future that I can tell here. So we're going to get eight foot waves with eight second periods. So those are square blocks out there. That doesn't sound very fun. And if we can avoid that, we will. What do you think, babe? <laughs> I think it's going to be an exciting plan. <laughs> well, I think you can. I mean, we can do our best to plan a week ahead, but really, weather is only good for about three days. Mm -hmm. And we have to be fluid as we go, but also look at the forecasts coming up. Our big thing is we don't want to be pinned down and then have to be forced to get down to Grenada in inclement weather. So if we can do day stops the rest of the way, excuse me, the rest of the way down and enjoy the trip, it's going to be so much better for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's the crazy little tidbit of all of this. So we only have a month total to get from St. Martin to uh, Grenada. Now it's already the fifth of the month. So we're almost a week into it and we have pretty much the whole Caribbean chain to go down. 
um, in three weeks time period but without rushing it and enjoying some of it so it poses a wee bit of a challenge that's for sure but if we just have to pirate stop and make our way down there and get to Grenada early then that's what we have to do because we don't like Josh said we don't want to get pinned down so I don't know it's a lot of planning every single morning to see what the weather's doing and what's happening and what the next day's adventure is going to be mm -hmm. living on a boat <laughs> what are you going to do <laughs> everything in it. There's two batteries. Let me just show you real quick. Some dive flags. This little floaty we blow up and then the compressor actually sits right in there like so. Got the hose and regulator right here. And battery packs. So let's get this all set up and go for a swim, baby. Sweet. Well, don't you look super sexy? Call me Dad Master J. <laughs> How are you feeling about this? It's good. Yeah. Instructions are super simple. Yeah. Very much just like putting on a regulator and BCD, other than you can adjust your buoyancy. So we have lots of weight on. We got my flippers on and stuff, but I got the battery in. I got the little thing blown up, so it'll float around behind me. Got 10 feet of hose, and uh, you just turn the regulator on right here. Cool. Super cool. That's it. Yep. Awesome. Not much else to say about that. <laughs> All right, get in the water then, you. Okay. Nice and tight. Take your floaty into the pool. Yeah. 
Too many dive weights? Pretty awesome. It's so cool. I just spent about a minute and a half working on the prop and the shaft. And effortless. Just take your time, breathe normal, and it's super cool. Neat. Awesome. Yeah. You got to try this in a bit. All right. Okay. you do <clears throat> it's not bad I uh, I took my weight belt off though went before I went to do it and uh, that's definitely required because you're like sandwiched up under the boat you can stay under there and scrub for a long time but you're getting blue so for the most part it's pretty awesome I like it I think it's a uh, it would be a wise thing to add to our collection of stuff totally yeah and what do you think i think it's awesome yeah <laughs> honestly i i've tried probably five times to dive under and clean the keel and you saw how bad it was and in probably 20 minutes i had the whole thing scraped i went back and brushed it i mean it's not perfect but we never got it perfect when we were on the hard so it, it won't be until we haul out again and actually paint it but but if we had something like this to maintain all the time on the bottom it would never get like that exactly yeah so. it's pretty awesome yeah yeah so our bottom's clean and you're full of shrimp. I got shrimps all over me. There's some in my pants. I can feel we're biting me in my sack. So I need to have a quick shower and get this stuff off me. So I'm pretty lucky that my beautiful lady booked me an appointment for a chiropractor today. I've been having tons of issues with vision, my neck, and I think all of it stems from the shoulder injury, shoulder injuries, plural. So I think I've been protecting it and stuff and I've definitely done something to crick my neck and it's, uh, maybe pinch some nerves so I'm actually had a hard time focusing on one side and the last couple days has been better but I'm hoping to get an adjustment today it's something I did on a regular basis back in Canada I haven't had one in two years so I'm really looking forward to this so fingers crossed it's the same in France as it is in Canada So do you feel like a million bucks? No, I'm really sore actually. But she did the whole head to toe thing from the feet to the top of my head. And uh, she actually put this one back. It was it was out slightly. So she actually manipulated it and popped it back in. And that was a really nice relief. She had a really hard time doing my neck, I think. But most people, my neck and my lower back, they're so protected I think, from previous injuries. But she really got me stretched out and I'm, uh, feeling a lot better so yeah and in two did, days you're going to be fantastic yeah and a, and a lot of good uh stretches and exercises she said that we need to do until we come back in a month to see her again so it was good so. let's get her done let's get her done thanks for watching like subscribe comment do all that fun stuff we really appreciate all of it and we'll talk to you next week cheers bye guys Too hot, baby. Too hot, too hot. Too hot.